This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. We are one day away from the recall election. Voters across the state determining the future of California. As of Sunday, more than 815,000 mail-in ballots have been returned to the San Diego Registrar Voters Office. So far, nearly 9,000 people have cast their ballots at in-person polling places around San Diego County. A teenager who was in a coma after a car crash in El Cajon last month uh, has now died. The teenager's mother, Abigail Reyes, contacting us Sunday night to tell us that her son, Giovanni, died on Friday. The driver of the car, 16-year-old Gaddy Cruz, was also killed in the crash. Police say he was speeding when he lost control and hit a pole. Two others were hurt in that crash. There has been a GoFundMe set up for the Reyes family. It can be found on our website, 10news.com. Well, a new COVID-19 treatment center is opening up in our county today. The Monoclonal Antibody Regional Center will offer free on-site COVID-19 testing, treatment, and monoclonal antibodies. It is free regardless of health insurance or immigration status. However, you must meet four criteria. You must test positive for the virus, have symptoms for 10 days or less, be at least 12 years old, and at high risk of getting very sick from COVID. This is the first of its kind in the state. All right, let's turn our attention to the weather now, which has some promising things on the horizon. I know. If you're ready for a cool down, we yeah. have it coming. Today's going to be our last day of above normal temperatures. Some heat for inland neighborhoods still in the 90s, but it's the last day in the 90s. Mid to upper 70s along our coast, 80s in the mountains, and right about 110 in the deserts. Away from the coast, by midweek, temperatures drop by 5 to 10 degrees. And we're going to keep things cooler straight into the weekend. Now, if you live in the mountain and desert areas, we will see some gusty winds and dry conditions leading to elevated fire danger. That trend at least continues through Wednesday, and it's going to be feeling more like fall the rest of the week with the official end of summer just nine days away. Jim. Wow. All right, Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.